Grandma, this portion is going to cover from D.C. to Montreal, and I'm sure Mom shared some of the D.C. pictures with you. We went to the Holocaust Museum, which was really interesting, fascinating, and my favorite part, of course, was all the monuments. This was Arlington National Cemetery. Um, we saw the Washington Monument. We saw Martin Luther King, Jefferson Memorial. It was just beautiful and uh, DC is one of my favorite places. If it weren't for the politicians, I think it would be just about perfect. Once mom and Dave flew home, we did a honk and a wave through Annapolis, Maryland. Newcastle, Delaware is just a charming colonial town. It's got cobbled streets, cute shops, a um, statue of their founder, William Penn, and it sits right on the water. We went to Cape Henlopen for the lighthouse that's here. It's near downtown Lewes, Delaware, which had good maritime history. Delaware, Virginia, and Maryland are known locally as Delmarva. This museum on the Underground Railroad was really interesting, great history. It was so cool to learn about. We learned a lot about the War of 1812 and the Star Spangled Banner at Fort McHenry. Um, we then went into downtown Baltimore, which was a really cool city, just great churches. And um, this library was very impressive. We also went to an art museum here that was one of the most beautiful and eclectic collections I've ever seen. It was a private collection called Walter's Museum and one of my favorite art museums of all time. At our next stop, we rode our bikes to Harper's Ferry for a lesson in one of the causes of the Civil War. Pretty area, sits up on this hill with rivers that converge and had this beautiful church at the top overlooking the town. Speaking of the Civil War, our next stop was in Gettysburg to visit the museum and see the site where the battle took place. Um, all these monuments at the Civil War sites represent the different soldiers from each state that gave their lives. We wanted to go to Harrisburg to see the Capitol, and this is still my favorite Capitol that we've seen. Um, it was recently refurbished. The stained glass is beautiful. They have frescoes, and all of the areas are really ornately done, and it's just stunning. We stayed in the parking lot of this antique automobile museum when we were visiting Hershey, Pennsylvania. And we thought it was funny that this old antique RV had the same layout as ours did. This might actually be the happiest place on earth. On our way to the Hershey Chocolate Factory, your guide will meet you at the entrance. See you inside. Fresh milk. Say it, girls!
we didn't go to the amusement park in the area, but we did want to learn about Mr. Hershey. He truly believed that happy workers were the best workers, and he built an entire town that had art, theater, great schools, affordable housing, just to achieve that. Rural Pennsylvania is full of quaint little towns, um, Amish or Mennonite, these covered bridges. It's just really pretty and fairly remote. We visited this place called Hopewell Furnace where they make furnaces and they teach you about iron ore smelting. If you're ever having a bad day, just think about Valley Forge. This is where the revolutionary soldiers hold up in winter, and it was starvation and cold, and I don't know what Washington was thinking. It was just terrible. Thomas Edison was a prolific inventor, so the light bulb, phonographs, movies, motion pictures. He was known for all of that, but he was also mm, kind of unscrupulous. And so it was really interesting to learn about him and how he operated. That video of the cats boxing is one of the first ever motion pictures and it just makes me laugh to watch it. Back to Pennsylvania, this park has the most waterfalls we've seen in one place, 19 to be exact. Bradford is home to the Zippo Lighters, so we went to their museum and I had no idea how popular a Zippo Lighter was. I actually feel like I need one. Finally made it to upstate New York and Fort Niagara, this living history museum, once owned by the French and then taken over by the English. This is often called the eighth wonder of the world, and it's pretty amazing. 600,000 gallons of water per second flow over Niagara Falls. Made of the Mist is the name of the boat that goes right into the falls. It's so beautiful and worth the trip. I didn't know much about the Erie Canal before this stop, but now I understand that these locks really helped people expand to western states. Rochester has the Eastman Kodak Museum, which was really interesting. They have every Kodak camera here from its inception and it was interesting to see the tie to Thomas Edison also the house of um, Mr. Kodak and then the area had really pretty housing really liked Rochester quite a bit we went downtown had lunch and saw some falls in the area we were probably most surprised by the Finger Lakes region so beautiful here. There's lots of pretty towns and waterfalls and places to ride your bike. Also hiking. I feel like Glenn Curtis doesn't get enough credit. He was an incredible cyclist, won a lot of races, then he developed a V8 engine and became what's known as the fastest man on earth in this motorcycle. Uh, after that, he partnered with Alexander Graham Bell, started working on the airplane, and made real progress that allowed that to commercialize. And then he went on to invent RVs. The Finger Lakes region has some wineries. We weren't expecting that at all. And it's home to Watkins Glen Canyon. Taking this hike up, you'll see plenty of waterfalls as you work your way through this gorge.
Next up, the Adirondacks. Beautiful lakes in this area, also pretty mountain vistas. We saw lots of wildflowers. This was in um, the June, July time frame. Did a lot of rafting and um, it was really fun. On one of our bike rides in the area, I thought I saw a bear, freaked out, but it turned out it was just a rock. Near Lake Placid, Doug rode to the top of this mountain called Whiteface Mountain. The next day we drove to it before we headed for Montreal. Bye for now, see you in Montreal.